Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What a day, what a day, what a week. Ah, oh, shit. All right, my first pick, I'm going with Brook Lopez over three and a half first quarter points. He's gone over this nine out of ten, even though analytics have meant shit lately. Plays, averages almost nine minutes in the first quarter, so he plays almost the whole thing. As long as nothing goes wrong, I don't even want to speak that in existence the way that Knicks game went today. But uh, he should go over this easily. I mean, last I don't expect him to hit five threes like he did last game, but four points, he should be able to do that easily. Uh, I feel very confident about it. Sticking with it, my money's on it. Brooke Lopez over three and a half first quarter. Play number two, jumping in, Clippers versus Dallas. Dallas are going home. Uh, series tied 1-1, going Zubiak over 22.5 points and rebounds. Minus 108 on DraftKings. I was going to take his points, but uh, his rebounds are at like 10, 11, I think, and... He's been going over that last two games, 12, 15. As well as his points are at like 12 or 13, I believe. And uh, last two games, 20 and 13. I figure both of them combined. If he's a little low on one, a little high on the other, it'll help us out. Uh, it's the only real big man on the team. Played 33 minutes, even both games. They need him out there. He's been, uh, when he's on the court, it's been plus. Meaning they've been doing well with him on there. Zubiak over 22.5 points and rebounds. Number three, going with PJ Washington. Of uh, Dallas Mavericks over one and a half threes minus one forty two on DraftKings. I know what you're saying. Oh, it's minus one forty two. I tell you what, I'm getting tired of playing these minus one ten plays and everything else. Uh, the limited games in the playoffs and the books are on everything. Uh, tell you the truth, I'm about to start. Uh, alt lining and going down a little bit and having high rods. It's uh, I got to do something. You can't just stick with it. Analytics is not working. Um, yeah, so I'm going with Washington over one and a half threes. Had three last game, two the game before. He's been shooting the ball well. He succeeded one and a half threes in 11 of 13 games, averaging almost three a game. He's taken averaging six and a half attempts, making 40%. So, uh, PJ Washington over one and a half threes. My next play, going with PG, Paul George, over 20 and a half points, minus 118 on DraftKings. They got it at uh, 130 on FanDuel, so this might go up, which is kind of a good thing because that means he's going to make it. They might bump his number up. He's been averaging just over this capable of going higher. Uh, 
I was gonna alt line it back to 19 and a half. They got it at minus 150. But uh, I sent the bets over and I forgot to change it, so I already put it in. If you want, if you if your unit size is is up there, or you want to bet more, definitely alt line it, bring it down. It's you know you pay you pay a little more on juice, but you have more percentage of a chance of hitting it. If today, if tomorrow doesn't go as planned, uh, we're playing high rods, ladies and gents. All right, we got PG over 20 and a half. Play number five, going with Norman Powell, the Clippers. Wow, they brought it down. I got it at minus 125. They got it at 119. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's prize picks. Uh, 125 on DraftKings, minus 125. Over eight and a half points. He's gone under this the last three games. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that, well, it says in Insights, he's exceeded nine and a half points in 16 and 19 games, averaging 13.9, but he hasn't done it the last three. Now, what's been happening is I've been playing plays. Guy's been going over, over, over. And I play it, he goes under. So I'm hoping that since he's been under, 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 that this is the game he breaks out and goes over. They brought the number down a little bit. It's at eight and a half. Uh, takes a couple, he takes four threes. He's been averaging four threes a game as well as 10 and a half field goals. He's been hitting 40%. So if he gets one or two threes and a field goal, he's over. He gets a couple field goals and one three, he's over. So just trying something new. Um, Trying to catch the trend as it's starting rather than as it's ending. Norman Powell over eight and a half points. Minus 125 DraftKings. All right, for my last pick, I'm going with Westbrook over 11 and a half points. Head to head, he's at 100% with this. The whole year, he's at 80%. Uh, he's going way over it. Uh, he may not score that many points, 7 to 15 points, but he's grabbing boards. Nine last game. You know, if he's plays 20 to 25 minutes like he normally does, he's going way over this. The only time he hasn't, he played nine minutes. So, and eight, 18 minutes he played, and he didn't go over it. So, if he plays over that, he's going over it. So, hopefully he does. Uh it's been a shitty week. You know, I feel bad putting putting these plays out there and everything that, that could go wrong will go wrong. Murphy's Law, like I said. But uh, getting a little superstitious since I changed my thumbnail. I've been having a tough time. So if, I, if these plays don't hit tonight, I'm about to change it back. So uh, stay tuned. Ace money the name getting paper again.